that was your Radio Award, and welcome to the Season 3 Finale Review. If you haven't seen this episode yet, I advise you not to watch this uh, review. This will feature spoilers about the ending, and uh, you know different scenes and different things going on in this episode. This is going to be the episode 16, uh, last season uh, finale of Season 3 of Walking Dead. Um, I'm going to talk about the, end of the season so far, and how I've uh, enjoyed it, and how it's impacted on me, and just, you know, just talk about how the season built up from Episode 1 to Episode 16, and just share my thoughts and opinions. So, uh, once again, if you haven't seen Episode 16, of season three of The Walking Dead, please do not watch this review, it will feature spoilers. <laughs> So I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. I've been watching this series now for quite some time. Uh, they split part one last year, part two was mainly this year, of course, in February. And I've really enjoyed this series. It's been really fantastic. It's been really, gri- it's been really gripping and action-packed and lots of drama, lots of romance, lots of high stakes and then tension building and characters getting killed off left, right and centre. It's, you know, it's one of those shows that you cannot predict and, you know, keeps you fresh on the toes. And with a show like this about, you know, the apocalypse and, you know, zombies and just people trying to survive, really, you know, anything can happen that's what I like about this show it takes risks it kills off main characters and it does something different which is what it's meant to be that's why so many people enjoy it so many people love it and I feel so honored I feel so privileged to be part of you know you know um you know, massive appeal that everyone's loves this show. Pretty much anybody who's anybody's watching this show, you know, whether you're a teen, whether you're an adult, whether you're in the you know, mid 50s or whatever, everybody's anybody's watching this show. And it's, it really surprises me. And I think it's connecting with people in a very different way. You know, the idea of like, you know, trying to survive, it's got a drama edge to it, and it's just people that you connect with, no one being super soldiers or anything along those lines, it's just people surviving an outbreak of some kind. And that's what I like about the show, and I think that's why everybody else loves it, and that's why it's got so many awards, and that's why it's so doing very well, and it's, be- it's become AMC's best show ever on their network, and I think it's doing really, really well. So fantastic job uh, for the writers and producers, and anybody who's making The Walking Dead. You're not a killer, and I know that. All we do is run. What you have here, you're sitting pretty at the end of the world. How many of you escaped? There were more. I was separated from the rest of them. Do whatever you gotta do to keep this group safe. Now, my review for the actual Walking Dead episode, episode 16 itself. Now, the season's been building up this whole idea, you know, the prison, the governor, and, you know, Rick, and all these people, characters are changing, and, you know, basically Rick and his little gang basically want to hold up in this prison, they want to start a new fresh life, and they can stay there, they can go out now and again and get food, and, you know, it's a secure place, it's a, it's a, it's a place that they can feel home to, basically, and I thought that's really interesting, I really like the, you know, the, the journey has gone from that, it's gone from season one to season two, to try and find a belonging place, you know, season two, they were at the farm, and they were trying to get their place there, but it didn't go quite well, of course, and then at the end of the season finale for that, of course, and, you know, season one, they were just trying to find what's happened, trying to find an origin point, trying to find a signal, the, you know, the army base, in a sense, in season three, got to the point where these characters have gone been for so much now, characters have been kept alive for and they just want to, you know, live in peace in a sense, they just want to stay there, live in peace. And of course the governor um, is in another little town called Woodbury, and he's kind of a, basically a psychopath in a sense, he becomes more and more uh, nuts and fucking whatever, control freak, whatever uh, you want to call it, and basically he just... You know, as he, he, managed, he captures one of those two that, you know, um, he captures a boyfriend and basically talks the shit into him for no absolute reason. You know, this guy doesn't have to do this, but, you know, he does and he makes war against Rick. And, you know, the, the season's been building up to this whole idea of them two characters coming full on, full at it, kind of sense. And there's been some really good episodes, both back and forth dialogue episodes, and there's been characters killed off, and it's got really personal, really, you know, wow kind of thing in it. And. It's built up to this moment, and uh, the episodes have gone a little slow, uh, you know, from the last two episodes, were a bit slow leading up to the season finale. Now, the season finale, I was not sure what to expect. I knew it was going to be fucking awesome, uh, in fact, season finale the last episode, and um, to be honest, I did enjoy it, but I felt some bits were a bit disappointing, and I felt that some of it could have been more true to the comic. I was expecting certain things, being the fact that I knew certain... Uh, storylines, certain aspects within the comics, you know, certain things that happens to certain characters and what happens, you know, to certain people. Um, I was expecting they're going to go down that route, but I know the show has changed a little bit here and there to change, you know, what what's going on. But um, 
they went for a different ending, which I, I do appreciate, I think, perfectly honest. I think it was a bit more of a, like, okay, we've had our, kind of, you know, dark, bleak, you know, ending within season two. Everything's gone fucked up, you know, everything's just gone blue out of its face. Let's do something completely different. Let's do a, you know, we've gone for so much. Let's give these characters a break. And I think, to be honest, thinking about that, well done writers for that. Basically, the ending of the episode, spoilers here, um, you know, it's gone through this battle, the governor and his little, and his little soldiers, basically, have gone through, gone through the actual prison, you know, they blew up a couple of people kind of thing, and basically they got defeated. Rick has managed to stick his own, and he's managed to beat, to beat the governor at his own game, in a sense, and they've gone off, and the governor's just gone fucking nuts crazy, he managed to kill every single one of them, apart from one that managed to survive. Of his soldiers, of course, and he's just gone off, you know, whatever kind of thing. So, obviously, his character's going to return at a later point uh, within season four, maybe at some point, I don't know, something might happen to him. Um, I thought that was an interesting decision to do that, perfectly honest. Instead of, like, you know, within the comics, in the comics, basically, he gets shot in the head and he gets killed off, they were done and done. But, I don't know, um, part of me thinks, yes, okay, that was um, a good decision to, you know, his character come back later on within, within the show and he can come back and maybe he's find redemption, maybe he's on peace, or maybe he's just going to come back full on force army kind of thing, who knows. Then, you know, sort of cheaply do it, you know, shoot him off his head at the end of the series, you know, just a bit easy to end off his character. His character's so good that, you know, I think people want him to come back later on, and I think that's what they got. Within the comics, you know, he gets shot off, and uh, certain things don't happen, of course, you know, uh, in the comics, Rick gets his hand chopped off by the governor, and it doesn't happen in the series, but I think... Um, putting all that aside from the comics and what I know, uh, the ending basically, you know, he's gone off, he's gone to do his own thing, and the woman that survived, of course, tells Will Berry that, you know, Governor's done this, Governor's done that, and he takes all the people, all the children, all the, you know, all the people that are left, basically, in Woodbury, who can't defend for themselves, into the prison, and they can start a fresh, um, you know, healthy life, they can work as a community, they can help each other, and it's just exactly what Andrea, what, it's just exactly what Andrea wanted. Uh, unfortunately, she gets killed off in the series. Surprising turn of events. I wasn't really expecting that, being the fact that she's a major character in the comics, a sniper, a, a sharpshooter, and she basically, a character, she basically, it's her final wish in a sense. You know, she wanted to save everybody. She wanted, you know, to have, you know, she wanted to save everyone. She wanted to save the governor in some aspects, and she failed really. You know, she got bit by a walker, and now she's just basically shot herself. She commits suicide and. You know, that's her character done. That's really sad, of course. Her journey's come so far. And basically, Rick thinks, okay, I, I, I'm bad enough for these people die now. I'm going to save these people. And I'm going to, I'm going to save these people. I'm going to bring them into the prison and I'm going to, you know, give them shelter. I'm going to make a full community. I'm going to do, do bigger and better than the governor did. And I really like that ending, perfect class. It doesn't have to end with bloodshed. It doesn't have to end with a you know, dark, bleak ending with another character to get killed off. It's just a way of like, okay, We've gone for so much now. Let's do something positive. Let's do something, you know, that we can, you know, we can hold all this community. And I like that idea of that. And Rick, and you know, his entire friends, you know, just do something really pure, positive and pure. And I really respect that. I don't know what season four is going to do. Perfectly honest, I don't know where it's going to go on from there on. Those two, that character could leave the actual group. I know in the comics that he actually does leave the group. He allows someone to take leader, and he does his own thing. He goes back to the city for season one. Um, I don't know if they're going to go down that route this series, I don't know, for the next series. But I thought the ending was really good. Um, some parts were really disappointing, but um, t taking the big picture of the mind, taking the fact of season one, season two, I felt it was a good, strong ending, perfectly honest. And it was different. I felt the writers did, you know, had some balls and said, like, wait, we're not going to do a full on, you know, revenge, you know, full on beat em up kind of thing. Let's do something different here. Let's do something that we can say yes. He's finally, he's finally had a good ending, basically, because end of season one was a very dark, you know, characters getting killed off, you know, there's no hope, everyone's, in fact, everyone's screwed over. End of season two, the farm's destroyed, zombies broken out, everyone's pushed, everyone got killed off, everyone's backstabbing each other. Season three, we can end it nicely and well done. So, good stuff. So that's been my review for The Walking Dead Season 3 finale. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, what do you think of The Walking Dead Season 3? Have you enjoyed this series? Uh, did you find the ending disappointing? Have you seen the finale ending? What did you think of the episode? Lots of new opinions. Comment down below. Lots of new opinions. We don't mind your day.